Coeur d'Alene police released body camera video today from an officer-involved shooting. It happened at 14th and Young in Coeur d'Alene last August. Officers first responded to a hit and run where the suspect Eric Johnstone hit a light pole and then took off. They tracked him down at his apartment. Inside, officers say John Stone wouldn't put down a knife and he was shot and killed. Okay, XY4's Ian Cole has the story from our North Idaho newsroom and a warning. Some of you may find this story disturbing. A Bonner County prosecutor already ruled the shooting to be justified at this small apartment complex and today Coeur d'Alene police released video to show why. It started as a hit and run investigation. Officer Spencer Mortensen was first on scene and located the truck. He takes pictures of a dent in the Chevy Silverado. Dispatch tells him the suspect's name is Eric Johnstone. Hey Eric, if there's witnesses, so either we can just get your insurance and take care of this. Soon after, a woman walks out and she has blood on her. I need Eric to come out here. I know. Please get him. Is there the officer words? calls for backup and asks them to hurry. 2377, can you expedite? After a failed attempt to get Eric outside, the woman tells the officer Eric has a knife and she's worried he might hurt himself. Eric, Coeur d'Alene Police Department, come on out here, please. One minute later, still no response. Officer Mortensen moves in and finds John Stone in the kitchen with a knife. Here's where we will show you the final seconds that led up to the shooting, but we'll freeze the video as the shots are fired due to the graphic nature of what's happening. Put the knife down now. Put it down. I'm serious. Put the knives down. I need you in this house right now. Put the knives, I will shoot you. Put the knife down, put it down! Put it down! Put it down! John Stone drops to the ground. Seconds after backup arrives and officer Mortensen calls for paramedics. They would find Eric Johnstone dead at the scene. In Coeur d'Alene, Ian Cole, KXLY4 News.